Hey there, how's it going everybody? So check this out. This banana tree here is starting to produce some bananas finally. We're here in the Bay Area, California. This is Northern California, Zone 9B. And I'm standing up on a ladder to get a better shot for you guys. You can see we've got several different bananas forming on this female flower here. So my understanding is, and this is going to vary on a number of factors, including what variety of banana tree you're growing, is that once your banana begins to flower, it can take up to 100 or more days before you get fully mature bananas. That would bring us into November, so we do cool down quite a bit at that time, so we'll just have to see whether or not we do get fully ripe and mature bananas off the tree. But I'm holding out hope, and I'll be updating you as things progress, so stay tuned. And here's another angle to show you the overall height of these banana trees here. So once your banana tree has fruited, you're going to need to cut it down. It's no longer going to produce for you. But you're still going to have other banana trees that are going to grow up and produce fruit. As you can see at the base of these trees here, there's several other younger plants that have grown up. Sucker plants that grew up around the base. Uh, they grow from corms and you can transfer some of those away. You can also leave several of them to grow all together in a bunch like that. So a very abundant producer in the way that it fruits and then provides you with new younger trees to grow up and take its place. You can also harvest the banana flower which is edible as well and you can do that as the bananas are maturing. You're going to want to wait till a bit of a latter stage than what you see here. You should actually see a gap between that lowest bunch of bananas and the flower head. At that time you can harvest it and it's not going to affect the production of the bananas negatively in any way. In fact, it may actually help to put more energy into producing those bananas. So we'll be giving that a try in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. All in all, the banana tree has so many different uses. Not just the bananas themselves, but the flowers, the leaves, the stalks, they all have uses. I've made a video in the past showing how I process and preserve these leaves in the freezer. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link below this video in the description box. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you're having a great weekend. I'll be talking to you again real soon. Take care. Hello ladies.